show you guys some things that go on for our foundations poured. So generally what happens is that they'll start staking it out, right? That little yellow orange guy right there. And then they'll start digging out footings here. So footings are basically the thicker, deeper parts of your foundation. And these actually are, are what carry the load. Um, your slab, which is like the air that go right here, isn't like, is it really that much of like a foundation piece as this is? This is crucial. That is, eh, it's kind of like iffy. So it kind of sounds backwards, but a crack in a footing means that the wall is going to sink down versus a crack in the slab means like you might have an uneven walking surface. So here we're a few doors down, right? We're right there a second ago. Now we're over here. So to some extent, you can see the form boards are up, so it'll catch the concrete, kind of give it a nice little edge, save them some money here. Yeah, that concrete's spilling all the way over into the back side of this thing. Bob, this little guy probably should be compacted a little tighter, but that's all right. Someone's gonna catch that. And then if you can see, this is all compacted right here. It's all really tight. Like if I stomp on it, I can feel shockwave moving through my leg. Versus if I stomp right here on the soft stuff, it just kind of goes straight down. Here we get a good number of plumbing stacks going up. So generally, all these black pipes are carrying sewage, or they will carry sewage. This right here in the middle of nowhere is a, like your island for your kitchen. And one more important detail I'll show you guys. That we can see this vapor barrier right here on the form board. I'd say it's more crucial and a little less known as if you've got vapor barrier that's just underneath this type 2, whatever material this is.